A detonator jump is about this high. So why is it that when I air blast it, it does this? Even a reflected rocket doesn't come close. What's going on? Normally, when you fire the detonator, the game creates a list of flares your detonator owns. Later, when you decide to detonate it, the game runs through that list and tells every flare to explode. Your flare would then try to explode. If it succeeds, two things happen. It marks itself the projectile object for immediate deletion. And two, phones back the detonator it came from, confirming it exploded so it can get removed from the list of flares. When you air blast a detonator flare, the team alignment and owner is changed to match the air blaster, but control over who can detonate the flare stays with the pyro who originally shot it. This becomes a problem because now, the flare is phoning the wrong person about getting removed from the list of flares. The way the flare finds the detonator it came from is to look up who currently owns the projectile, then look for their detonator. Since the air blaster is now the owner of the flare, the flare will mistakenly try to find the air blaster's detonator to remove themselves from the flare's list. To which nothing would happen, because the air blaster either doesn't have a detonator, or their flare's list wouldn't have their ID on the list. So because the flare is looking up the wrong guy, the flare ends up never getting removed from the original detonator's flare's list, which means that the original shooter can repeatedly detonate that flare, stacking tons of knockback. But the flare also marks itself for immediate deletion, so why can it be detonated multiple times? The source engine only checks if there is something it should delete every 0.015 seconds, which means that depending on when you try to detonate a flare, it can take up to 0.015 seconds before the engine will actually delete your flare, even if you say something should be deleted right now. So what happens is that when an air blasted flare gets detonated, it first tries to remove itself from the flares list and fails. It then also tries to delete itself immediately, but won't actually get deleted for some time, resulting in a short window for the flare to constantly detonate, creating the massive knockback you see. This is also why the damage indicator shows more than one tick. Since an air blasted flare can't phone back and get themselves removed from the flares list, it will stay there forever, meaning this is technically a memory leak but the most insignificant and meaningless of memory leaks, since storing the ID of the flare takes almost no memory. Oh wow, super jump 